Hey guys, I'm here at Maggie Valley Arts and Craft Show and my first show for my paintings. So let me take you around a little bit. Some of these paintings I framed just so you can see what they look like in the frame. So if anyone comes and you want to look at a particular painting in a frame, we can switch them out and just look at yours individually. Coming around to the side here, we have our first wall of paintings. Uh, all of these are on Etsy, KD Forestal Art, if you're interested in looking at them in more detail. This wall has my descending dove and angry wind and the rainbow I love and this one up here. My daughter actually chose those colors and it's really pretty. It's got a lot of glitter in it, like something ocean, coral. Those are really pretty like that. Coming around here, we have the ring of fire. And I feel like that's like the fire of the Holy Spirit, but you can think whatever you want of it. I'm gonna give you some of my insight, and then of course, art is subjective, so you choose to think what you want. But this one right here kind of reminds me of the lake of fire, and I know it's kind of a weird thing to have in a painting, but maybe if there was a church and they wanted like a series, then this one also reminds me of the fall of man as a snake up there in the corner and that looks like a technological man and uh, just the garden is in there to me this is what I'm seeing and people praying and all kinds of things this one's just kind of a fun one you might see dragons in there this one reminds me of the birth of Christ because there's the mountains and there's the angel proclaiming I just believe he's right there in the middle and um have, which one? Oh, have another one over here. That. Oh, that's on the other side. Well, I'll get back to that. This one actually reminds me of the creation of man. Coming out of the dust. The womb down there. Um, this one reminds me of heaven. That one's just flowers in the night. And, that one is a little more representational. I tried something different with that, but the waterfall to me reminds me of Lady Wisdom. And then we have some of our more psychedelic type paintings. That's like peacock colors. This one's really pretty if you like oceany kind of things, like a coral reef. Over here we have another psychedelic. This one I call. <laughs> what did I call this? Um, she just reminds me of the Frozen, the witch from Frozen, or C.S. Lewis's uh, Ice Queen. Ice Queen, maybe that's what I called her. It's all on Etsy. And this I called the Phoenix. And if you look at this one, his beak actually literally goes right around the corner of the painting, which is really cool. And then this one is Magic Mountain. This is one of my favorites. You look close to see what looks like a cat in there. There's a face in the mountain. There's a moon up there. And even to me, that looks like it could be like a kind of a, a wizard creature. Maybe the face almost looks like a dog, but it's just mythical. And then the jellyfish down there. And here's another of the psychedelic. I have a couple of these little paintings. That's just a little flower one. I'm just starting to learn that technique, so I don't have too many of those. But this is my, well, you saw this in the beginning. That's, uh, again, is an acrylic pour with a little representational added in. So that is my stand, and, um, oh, let me go over here. Missed a spot right here. This is one of my favorites, too, Coral Reef. It's in white, which looks really nice. Um, I could see that in a seascape type of room. These are my plates. This is what I call Tears of Joy. And um, don't have a lot of plates to sell yet because they take longer to do. And I wasn't really planning on selling them, but I had a few already made. So I figured I'd throw those in there too. And there's a Christmas one. I love that one. 
magical Christmas. And then I don't know if I got this one painting here. This one's really awesome too. This again reminds me of the birth of Christ. But in the dark of the night comes the Savior, and there's Mary leaning over the manger. So that is my stand at Maggie Valley Crafts Arts and Crafts, and I'll be here until tomorrow at four o'clock. Today hours are nine to four, and tomorrow same thing. Bye.